Today's video is sponsored by Energy Sage. Stick around to find out how we used Energy Sage to find an approved installer to help us generate power on the roof of our home and head to energystage.com to start your own journey to solar self-sufficiency. Just as the electric car world has gone through some truly incredible advances in technology over the last decade or so, so too has the world of photovoltaic solar panels. As electric car drivetrains have become more power dense and battery packs more energy dense and more affordable, so too have solar panels become more efficient, more reliable and more affordable. But that doesn't stop some pretty terrible myths from being perpetuated about solar panels on social media and more. So it's time for another... FUD BUSTING! I have a bunch of solar myths to dispel today, but before I do, a quick reminder that if you like our mixture of sarcasm, wit and fact, we would love it if you consider hitting subscribe and the notification bell, as well as checking your notification preferences for this channel. And if you want to go one step further, stick around until the end and I'll tell you how to contribute towards our monthly running costs. Myth number one. Our first myth is that solar panels are so expensive that only the richest 10 kings of the world can afford them. Oh, wait, no, that they are so expensive the average person can't afford them. But while solar panels were, once upon a time, pretty darned expensive and only really the preserve of the wealthiest members of society, solar panel technology has improved so much over the last few decades that today's solar panels offer a price per watt that's 90% cheaper than it was just 10 years ago. I should note here that the price per watt usually refers to the price per watt installed on your home and the larger your solar installation, generally the cheaper it becomes per watt of installed capacity. Based on estimates for this year, the average US home installing solar will pay around $2.77 per watt of installed panel capacity. Or to put it another way, your average regular put it on the roof of your home solar panel costs somewhere between $200 and $250 each. Although to take that last figure, you'd need to add labor costs and other ancillaries like solar inverters to that price. Myth number two. Our next myth is one I hear a lot when people find out that I have a 15.03 kilowatt peak solar system on my home. But you live in Oregon, it's, it's always raining, how can you generate electricity? The myth that solar panels only work in places where it's always sunny is a pretty persistent one that causes all kinds of misunderstandings. See, while solar panels do work best when there's an unobstructed view of the nearest giant fusion reaction in the sky, solar panels do still generate energy on a cloudy day. They just generate less energy. The easiest way to think about solar panel generation is to assume that if you can easily see outside, then the solar panels are generating at least some electricity. Since solar panels generate energy when photons pass through their outer glass and hit the semiconductor material inside the panel, and photons are the fundamental particle of light we see, it only does really need to be daylight outside for the panels to be generating some form of power. Although that said, when it's cloudy or raining, visible light can be subjected to all kinds of refraction and reflection by the clouds above, reducing the total amount of visible light that actually arrives on your solar panels. But don't just think because the clouds are in the sky that a solar panel won't work well. In some situations, high clouds can actually cause your panels to perform better than you might think because of the way light is refracted and reflected by them. Here at the studio, we've had days with high cloud where our solar panels have continued to produce power long into the evening, far longer than they would normally be in the evening because they'd be in the shadow of tall trees. All because light from the setting sun had bounced off high clouds in the atmosphere and then come back down to our solar panels. 
All of that notwithstanding though, if you want to generate the maximum amount of energy from your solar panels, they're best installed on a south facing roof with an unobstructed view of the sky on a clear day. Any tall buildings or trees casting a shadow will ultimately reduce your solar output. Myth number three. One myth I see a lot online is one that claims that putting solar panels on the roof of your home will ultimately damage your home's roof to the point where it will leak. Often spurred on by some horror story or urban folklore, the myth revolves around the fact that solar panels are usually affixed to your home's roof by drilling holes in the roof through which mounting hardware is attached. As is usually the case with any home modification, the likelihood something will go wrong is directly connected to the professionalism and skill of the people doing the work. And frankly, any solar installer worth their salt will carefully inspect your home's roof for damage before carrying out a solar panel installation and again after. They should tell you how many years they think it will be before your roof needs replacing and frankly, most installers won't work on a roof that's ready for a replacement or will likely need replacement in the next five to 10 years. The older a roof is, the more likely it is gonna need replacing and the more likely it is to have faults that might lead to water ingress. So it is within an installer's best interest to be honest and advise you to replace the roof before getting solar panels if they feel your roof has only actually got a few years life left. When a roof is in good condition and the solar installers know their stuff, they'll use appropriate methods to ensure your roof remains as weatherproof and watertight as it was before the panels went on. Which is probably a great time to talk about today's sponsors, Energy Sage, because they are a great way to make sure that your solar installation company knows their stuff is vetted and insured. Energy Sage is a nationwide service that allows homeowners to input their address and research their solar options by safely receiving no obligation quotes from solar installation companies near to them. It was Energy Sage we used one year ago when we were looking to install the massive 15.03 kilowatt peak solar panel system on our home, which also happens to be the roof of this studio. And the process we experienced was nothing but A star, which is why we're happy to work with them for this video. When Energy Sage collects your details on its website, it then forwards them to verified solar installers in your area, who are then able to place a bid through its website to install your system. Because installers have to be bonded, registered and verified to work with Energy Sage, and their work is both vetted and regularly verified by customer reviews, you can be secure in the knowledge that the solar professionals you're interacting with are the real deal. And because Energy Sage pairs you with local contractors, not massive multinationals, they are local and thus know the local incentives, can make sure your installation is up to code at both national and local levels, and maybe help you get info from your local utility company. And if you're looking for grid tied energy storage solutions to go with your solar panels, many verified Energy Sage installers can help you with that too. Some even go one step further, as ours did, pointing you in the direction of local financing options for your panels. Ours put us in touch with an amazing local credit union, which combined with a remortgage we took out in January last year, helped us get our solar panels for a net zero effective change in our monthly budget. There's a link to that video below if you're interested. Additionally, you don't pay for the service. The installers pay Energy Sage for their annual membership, depending on how many projects they'd like to bid for every year. Like all of the checks I've just shared, this really does sort out the good installers willing to stand by their work from those shady companies you sometimes see offering you the false hope of getting the government to pay for your solar panels completely. You can find out more from Energy Sage by following the link below. Remember, it is completely free and there's no obligation to buy anything in order to get quotes prepared. However, full disclaimer, this is an affiliate sponsorship. So if you do follow the link and end up getting panels, we will get a kickback, which hopefully will help you and the channel as well. And with that, 
back to the final myths we have to bust. Myth number four. Because solar panels are usually made of glass and plenty of other materials, there's a bizarre but persistent myth, especially in the colder parts of the world, that suggests that solar panels can't deal with extremes of temperature and that they will either crack in extreme cold or extreme heat. And look, at one point in history, like, I don't know, 40 plus years ago, photovoltaic solar panels were a little more fragile than they are today. But we're talking many, many, many years ago. So long, in fact, that if you wanted to call someone while you were out and about, you needed to have their phone number written down or memorised, a nearby phone booth to use, and some loose change to place a call, or perhaps a very understanding friend willing to accept reverse charges. If you don't know what I'm talking about, get off my lawn, you youngster. The reality, today's modern solar panels are designed using super tough glass that's designed to withstand extremes of temperature, high winds, falling debris and more. And while it's generally a bad idea to actually stand on your solar panels, most solar panels are capable of withstanding significant weight placed on top of them evenly, which means they're not going to have to worry about dealing with things like heavy snowfall in winter breaking them. Although, obviously, they won't generate power if there's six inches of snow on top of them. Myth number five. Solar panels, like most manufactured things, have a finite life. And just like electric car battery packs, solar panels suffer degradation over time, with solar panels slowly becoming less efficient at generating electricity. That means, as solar panels age, they will effectively produce less energy when exposed to the same solar radiation as they did when new. There are plenty of myths out there that suggest this loss happens so quickly that after a few years you'll just need brand new panels. Does that sound like electric car batteries, perhaps? But the reality is, that's not true. Solar panels, like electric car batteries, tend to age a little quicker in their first year than they do in subsequent years. But when they do actually reach their second year of operation, the rate of change in solar panel efficiency dramatically slows down, just as it does with EV battery degradation in that first year of EV ownership. For solar panels, the standard guidance is that modern panels lose between a half percent and one percent of their efficiency every single year, meaning that after 25 years of use, they're still going to be producing between 75 and 87 and a half percent or maybe even more of their rated peak capacity. Moreover, most solar panel manufacturers worth their salt will warranty your panels for at least 25 years or more long after the panels have paid for themselves in electricity savings and possibly long after you've traded your current new shiny EV for something even newer and shinier, probably one without a steering wheel. Or to put it another way, the solar panels we put on our house last year will likely still be producing the lion's share of the energy we consume when I'm just a few years from my retirement. And even after that, it's likely that the solar panels on my home will still be generating power into my mid-70s or even, if I'm lucky enough to live that long and beat long QT, my 80s. Still need convincing? Well, I recently saw an advert on my local Craigslist for solar panels from the mid-1970s that was still happily producing power, 40 plus years after they were made. So there you have it. Five solar myths busted. I would love to know if you've come across any that we've missed, and if we have, leave them in the comments below. That's it for today. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to leave your thoughts below or in our free to join Discord chat room. There are links in the description. I'll be back soon, and of course, if you want to get a massive news roundup in the world of cleaner, greener, safer, and smarter vehicles every weekend, make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on our TEN news roundup show every Saturday. And don't forget that we also make videos every single day on this network for you to enjoy, ranging from deep dives and features to tutorials, unboxings, and reviews. 
If you haven't already, if that isn't already obvious, make sure you've subscribed to this channel and our other channel, Transport Evolve Take Two, and give that bell a gentle ding to make sure you're told when our next video goes live. Thanks on behalf of the entire crew. Go out to the folks on my right for being our $15 to $49 a month supporters. Special thanks to our $50 a month supporters, Chris Maxwell, Bennett Elder, Brian Newton, Dave Kitchen, Michael Goad, Ricky Leon, Andrew Martin, Guido Rojota, Brophy Wolf, Tesla and the Gong, Gordon C, Stephen O'Donoghue, you, Carl Hodgson, Anthony Coates, Ray Jean Fellows, Rory Litwin, Anonymous Freak, Jim Burness, Chris the Center, and Denny Hyde. And our deepest gratitude to our $100 a month supporters. They are Marcel Ward, Reggie Watts, Joe Bresney, JP Fagerback, Will Graylin, Matthew Drobnak, John Lyons, Christopher Lee Jones, Andrew Glenn, Paul Conway, Laura Reynolds, Ellery Hensley, and always. Ian. Want to be part of that amazing list? Well, it's super easy. You can join Patreon at the link below, hit the join button below to support us on YouTube, or you could show us your support through Bitcoin Kofi or buying some cool swag from our swag store. And again, there are links below. But if you are unable to support us financially, please know that just watching the video and sharing it with your friends, family, and coworkers really makes a difference to us and our analytics. And of course, one final shout out to our sponsor for today's video, Energy Sage. Check out the link in the description to start your journey to making power on the roof of your home. Thanks for joining me and as always, keep evolving.